Hello, Internets. Elisa Starr here, and I'm here in my cat suits. I uh, recently got into a fight with my vagina, and I realized that uh, it's time that I tell the world exactly what that fight was about. I know you've been holding your breath ever since you heard about it from my friend Zane, who is a huge blabbermouth. As you can see here, the entrance of my vagina starts where these uh, beautiful cats are playing in outer space. I I could have I could have done it with a with a picture of my vagina. That wouldn't be as accurate, you know. Showing the outside of my vagina um, for for our purposes today um, won't help you as much as the inside. And honestly, we all know that I'm as glittery on the inside as I am on the outside. This is me, right? I'm uh, I'm a little hollow inside. I have an enormous vagina, and it's been a long time, so I'm okay with that. So if you don't have 10 inches, I don't know if you can see this here, but 10 inches would be like just a little bit above the top of me. It hits me about here, where other people's stomachs are, I think. Anyway, if you don't have 10 inches, I don't know what you're doing in there, but I think it's adorable that you're trying to do anything at all. I'm hollow inside. Don't worry. Don't feel sorry for me. I love being hollow inside. I'm hollow inside. I'm hollow inside. So, this is the weird cul-de-sac in my vagina. I don't know if you guys have one or not. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine and I realized that I might be a little individualistic. So I just thought I'd share, you know? Uh, we're all a little bit different and I want to celebrate differences in all of us, inside and outside. So, up in this cul-de-sac. Side, it's just on the on the uh, you know well you know maybe, maybe your left my right of inside of me. Um, this also affects the kind of tampons I like to use. And you can see me sort of scrambling around for my props here. I've got two different kinds of tampons, right, right here. Now, as you can see, uh, I've got some tentacles here. I haven't mentioned yet. I just want to mention them right now. I'm not comfortable enough. I know we've been in a relationship for about 20 years now, internets, but we are definitely not on the level where I am ready to tell you about my tentacles. That's just, but I do want to mention that I have them. For the rest of you out there who have tentacles too, I don't want you to feel like you're alone. We're going to start a support group pretty soon. You know who you are, my tentacle homies. Like, you know, this is a, this is a good, this is a good four and a half inches, this tampon right here, and you can just see how it just, boom, 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 just ricochets off the inside of me, and it just never quite gets to the top, and so, fair warning, I'm definitely going to try and fill your dick up to make sure that it's, it's big enough to ride the ride, just so we don't feel any kind of anger after our coitus. Um, if you are also in love with me and you want to court me by uh, sending me tampons, I just want to let you know what kinds of tampons are really going to work for me. Um, as you can see, I do have this weird cul-de-sac in my vagina. It's, um, it, goes, it goes right here and when I'm using these environmentally friendly, frustrating, without the applicator kinds of hippie tampons, um, they can get jammed up pretty well. Those tentacles can just grab them and strangle. I don't want to talk about that. So, the cul-de-sac, right? The cul-de-sac right here just gets jammed up right there. And let me tell you, there's no blood coming through the cul-de-sac. No, no, uh, no. Uh, it's a dry, dry place. No, no. So that tampon just becomes an uncomfortable place for my vagina to complain about when I sit the fuck down on the bus. So then I have to and then up here. And the thing is, is like, if I, if I, if I go, sometimes I don't always just make it back up in here, like right away. Like sometimes I'll, and then, and then, and then, and then, you know, like you just, I just don't know what kind of luck I'm gonna have here. So uh, sometimes I'll spend 10, 15, 20 minutes just going, just because I don't have the right tampon in the morning. I just, it, so by then, I'm a little bit angry at this giant huntress right here, you know? Um, she and I are just not on good, to good terms for the rest of the day, and I don't know about you, but I really love to love my vagina, you know? I love her. I love that when, when she loves me back. I feel like I want communion with her. We have to go through a lot together. 
So, this is the best tampon for me, right here, right here. Because as you can see, this little applicator fella here, not environmentally friendly at all. Definitely going to be part of the reason why our children are going to be radioactive. But uh, he just shoots that tampon right past the cul-de-sac, the tentacles, um, and right into my, my basic hollow being, the very top where the blood flows. So I just wanted to let you know, internets, um, and just so you know also, uh, for the next couple of months, I'm not going to be using tampons because I'm going to try and use my period blood strictly for revenge purposes. I'm out. So if you're worried that you might be someone that I would take revenge against, then I recommend you just send me the right kind of tampons, and you won't find any period blood on your front door.